Life Lost Tube, it's Kerry and Stitches. It's Friday the 13th of September. And this is Floss Tube number 53. Happy Flossversary Tubery to me. Flossversary, no. Floss Tubeversary to me. Um, yeah, uh, it's been two years. I can't believe that I've stuck with it with it for two years. It's wonderful to still be part of this community, uh, this ever-growing community of um, video makers and of video watchers. And I'm pleased to fall into both categories uh, because there's just so much wonderful floss tube out there. So thank you to those who have been great supporters from the start. Um, and thank you and welcome to those of you who maybe have found my video very recently from the Favourite Fabrics Floss Tube collaboration. Um, big welcome to you if this is the first regular video of mine that you're watching following that. Um, I'm really pleased that you've um, chosen to subscribe and to watch my videos. So big welcome to you if you're new. Welcome back if you're a returning viewer. And um, I've got loads to talk about, to show you, to do today. So I have a stack of about eight whips. It's going to be a busy one. So, um, yeah, life update. Kids are back to school, uh, all settling into the new routine. Um, Lottie has joined the sewing club at school. Um, that starts from her year, so she's very excited. And they're making an advent calendar. Um, her floss tube videos are going to be about once a month we've decided that's probably the best for her um yeah so about once a month so uh, she won't have an update around now but she'll be back in a couple of weeks to do that um yeah so both kids are back at school now works back to normal um yeah it's about oh we've been on holiday there you go something I'll throw some video uh, clips in at the end. We did a tour of the northeast. Um, we visited um, a town called Pickering. We villag uh, villaged, went to Whitby Abbey. So if you're familiar with um, Bram Stoker's Dracula, that was uh, set in Whitby. Um, Bram Stoker was fairly local to the area, I believe. Um, we did several beaches, including Saltburn, that's got a uh, cliff lift that was really interesting to go on actually um you know for the two minutes we were on there but it was just fascinating um what else have we did went to a place called forbidden corner which is kind of like a labyrinthy thing i think a lot of you out there will really like it um i'll throw in a few pictures at the end if i can um what else do we do lots of beaches uh, barnard castle so just got out and about and saw lots and lots so it was a really nice break um Weather was cool and windy, but it was dry and it wasn't unpleasant at all. Um, very windy, so, um, which is what you get if you're on the coast. We met up with some friends in Durham and my sister-in-law who lives just a little bit further uh, south than that. So that was really nice. Um, got to spend time with people who are very dear to us, um, as well as enjoying just some really nice family time. Um, too. So um, I did get a little bit of stitching done whilst I was away. Uh, it was quite a long car journey. We did about 750 miles in five days. So um, a lot of you, some of you will be going, well that's not a lot. Um, that's in English terms, that's quite a lot. Um, yeah, that's quite a lot of travelling. So, but we had a lovely time and um, it feels like a lifetime. I genuinely sat there and thought, well, we haven't really done a lot. She's been back to school. But actually, yes, we've had a holiday. I've had a holiday because I recorded my flossy early but set it to go on when we were away. So that's probably why I'm a bit confused. Um, uh, so, right, let's uh, crack on with some stitching. So, um, I'm in Shell Tranquil Stitches group. Um, Cross Stitch Journal and Daily 30. Um, it's a lovely little group. I really like being in there. Um, lots of challenges and um, very laid back. 
I was finding with Magical Stitches that I felt too much pressure that I was letting people down if I wasn't completing stuff. So Magical Stitches is over for me. I just can't manage it anymore. Um, it's just, I find it stressful. Just the often what seem to be quite complex challenges and just to kind of get it done in a week and yeah. And then volume of stitching as well was just too much. This is far more laid back. Um, it's, um, yeah, much more late. I just like, I just like it. I'm, I'm very happy there. So um, anyway, I've just been doing some challenges for those groups. So um, I'll run through what, I won't bother you with the challenges, but I'll just show you what I've been stitching on. So this is Fuzzy Fox Designs oh, Christmas Gnome. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, so that's him. And I'm stitching in one over one on 28 count, except for the patch where I did two over one, and then, which you can see. So that's why I've just did a bit more of his hat last night. So he's coming on. I have finishing ideas for him. So I know how he's going to be finished. I just actually need to finish stitching him. But as one over one can be a little bit hard going. So it's nice just to put a few stitches in him here and there. I'm not sure if I've stitched on this or not. Well, I have stitched on it recently, but whether it was now or since, I don't know. But um, I think it's since my last stitch. Well, this is where there are bees. Uh, and I think I've put the bee skep in since the last time I recorded. So, that's uh, where there are bees, Prairie Schooler. So, Lottie's doing two clubs after school. She's doing choir and then sewing club so i will be stitching whilst i wait for her on a monday because i go straight from work to the school i will be taking this with me to stitch so that's now going to come my monday after school project so whenever i have the 45 minutes to kill whilst i wait for her to finish choir that's the project i'm going to do because i want to keep it separate from my daily 30 um, as part of Shaw's group because it's just easier to record it I had a new start. I needed a Halloween piece, so I started Darling Whimsy Designs apothe apo Apothecary Sign. Um, this is the one that Deanna, who was Tuxy Twins but now is Darling and Whimsy, um, designed for as part of her the auctions. That Michelle runs and these are my so I'm changing the colors and I'm going to make it a bit Halloween -y. I don't do Halloween as such but I just thought it would be fun just to make it a bit more of I only did something for Halloween so I figured I'd change it up so those are my color choices that is what the words are going to be in that's a soy silk and that's one of the ones I got from Sarah uh, in our biscuit swap and then I've just thrown in these three crazy crazy um, weeks in blaze absinthe and uh, amethyst so loving those and it's oh and then I've, I've picked up this kind of jodry designs black and gray one which is midnight so those are my colors it's stitched on a piece of fabric from audrey stitchy witch 42 that she dyed for me and i am stitching it this is 20 count and i'm stitching it one over one and that's my start, H. Because that was about the 100 stitches I needed for the challenge. So we'll say 2023 when I finish this. And then I had a start and a finish. Whilst on holiday, I needed to do a heart I chose to do a heart string stamplery something or other. Okay, let's see what I've done. I don't know why it's a very strange shape, but I think it's a peak. So this is 35 count uh, Zweigart raw linen, and that's the B-Skep from Heartstring Sampler is Festive Little Fobs Beekeeping Edition. So I do plan to make all of these, and I'll do them all on this fabric, hence why there's a piece that size in there, which makes sense now, because I thought it was the whole of the rest of this fabric that I had, and not just a piece that I've cut and cut on cut off ready for it so um 
Oh, and I've obviously unkitted it, so. Hmm. Now I wonder where the whiskey's gone. Um, yeah, so that's really cute. It's a uh, full coverage, but it's a finish, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. Okay, next up. So wait, I'm running through all the ones that have very little other than that one you just saw, which has more progress. Um, Jack Frost Tree Farm. I am currently stitching the title one from it, if I can find it in here. No. I actually think it might not be in here. There it is. So uh, Jack Frost Tree Farm, the first one. I've only had a couple of hundred stitches on this. So that's where we're at with that now. Oh, hang on. Let's go with that better. There we go. Progress is progress, eh? And that's stitched on the called for 32 count linen. Um, which I'm not a fan of. The linen itself's fine, but it is very crunchy. Very. Uh, and it's all in the called for colours as well. In my Diana bag. And um, beaky. <laughs> tiny chart! A tiny stitch in giant bag that's my bag from Sam crafting between stitches and I've got my Diana bag all my, actually no I haven't I'll say so I've got all my good project oh, yeah yeah all my good project bags out but I haven't I've got my one I've got two that I'm not using at the moment so next up is stitching time um country cottage needleworks I won this from stitchy shannon 85 uh recently and she made me a lovely project bag to go with it too, which you've seen before. Anyway, this is my daily 30 project. So I spend 30 minutes a day on this. Give or take. I lose track of time sometimes, it's 40 minutes. But generally 30 minutes. Um, and I also, this is also my travel piece. So, um, and which way is up, that way is up. So that's where I'm at. I'm just doing the borders at the moment because it makes really easy travel stitching. It's stitched, um, I, Shannon did kit it up in the called for linen for me as well, um, but I swapped a few things out and this is stitched on um, a piece of fabric by Hand Dyed Happiness in the colourway Kiwi and it's 28 count um, Lugana. So predominantly the called for colours at the moment, but I have swapped up a few. So. Um, I'm subbing in just a handful of weeks. In fact, it's only four. Which are just kind of some of the predom predominant colours. So those will be going in. Um, in place of... Those. So very similar, just a little bit of a change. So that's moving along quite nicely. Um, What's next? Um, I will save it until last. So that will continue to be my daily 30, 30 for the next couple of weeks. So I don't know whether how much I've actually done since I last showed you Main Street. I genuinely cannot remember. So um, you're not seeing all of it because I'm obviously going to do that giant reveal when I actually get it finished, which seems to be a long way off. So I don't remember if I had the roof done or not. Um, since I last showed you, but I certainly stitched the door. Um, but it's looking fantastic, and at a guess, I reckon. So let's have a let's do quick maths. So 150, 200, 300, about 1200 stitches left in the whole project. That's all. So, gonna try. I keep saying, I'm going to try and knock that out by the end of August. So first it was July, then it was August. Now it's actually it's June, July and then August. It'll get done when it gets done. But as soon as that's finished, I'm hoping to get really into doing Jack Frost and maybe try and get a finish for Christmas. But four months seems a lot of time to do essentially nine charts because the first one is about the size of the three of them. Anywho, let's... Uh, next up, I'm really pleased to have been working on this um i needed it for it's been hot air balloon week um these last two weeks in day 30 and 
I have a piece of hot air balloons and I was really excited to be able to get this out. So um, this is this one, this is my Cityscape. This was from World of Cross Stitch issue 251. Um, it is a design by Zweigart uh, and I've always loved it. Uh, it's just one of those projects, first glance you think, well that'll be nice and quick and then you discover just how much backstitch is in there. And somebody else on Floss Tube said this or in one of the groups or Facebook groups or something recently that they absolutely love black work but hate backstitch and I'm the same I love black work um but backstitch just feels like you're doing the same you've, you've stitched it and now you have to go over it again and it kind of just feels like you're not making any further progress so um some backstitch yes I know really really defines things and looks fantastic um Michelle Bendy's Alice is one that springs to mind Michael Powell's without the backstitch they are nothing but this is kind of when you have a building like that, one there, and then you have to go and do all those windows. So two, four, six, six stitches in every window, and then you've got, uh, was it 12, 24, 36, 48, 60 windows. You kind of just go, oh, right. Not that I've got that yet, but that's coming soon. So anyway, the this, this, uh, challenges for this group have enabled me to get loads of this, and I am just over the moon with my progress so I will stop wittering on and show you where I'm at so there we go that's oh yeah because we have a hot air balloon right over here I did add a couple of extra hot air balloons in um because I wanted to and because it's my turn and I kind of want to so not that you'll be able to remember the last time you saw this but I I had kind of some of this building done so and I had the house done although I think I've added in the pink and the window since so I did the whole of that one My, I'm filling in this building now um, and then I did all the hot air balloons the trees and a couple of cars and I think I'm potentially gonna get in another I've got a, another good couple of hundred stitches that I can put on this oh and we've got a pop-up event today so Amy for maybe another 500 stitches on this and see if I can finish out I'd love to be able to get even if I don't get the back stitching done I'd love, I'd love to be able to get these three buildings done and then that would pretty much finish two pages because the page break is basically through, uh, through that tree there so if I could get those three buildings done that would be um, two pages done. Admittedly, that is the most dense page of buildings, but it would that would be really, really good. I haven't done any of the clouds yet, or and I've only done bits on the cars, but kind of would like to see that. It's, bit, it's my oldest whip. I started it last September two years ago, so I would really, really love to get loads a bit more progress on that. It is a stitch nine. Ugh, realistically, no, it's not going to get done. Um, Realistically, this year I can see me doing seven out of nine of my stitch nine. I've done five, four, four or five. Oh, please, I'll have a look. Did you miss me? I'm back now. Um, stitch nine. I have done four. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I've done four. Um, Main Street is going to get finished this year, it's so close now. Main Street will be done, so that'll be five. Um, I'm pretty sure I can get where the bees would be, make it six. Which leaves the cityscape, peace on earth and my blackwork angel. Maybe. We'll see. They get done when they get done, don't they? Um, I will be doing a whip parade coming up soon. I did one October last year, so I thought um, I will probably try and do one again end of the month something like that um yeah i think so uh it's international ffo weekend coming up on the 21st this is um brainchild of um michelle bendy stitchy and oh, i'm gonna say diana it is kismet could be wrong on that one michelle did say and i just thought oh yes i'm familiar with that person but i can't remember anyway so I made a list um, yes, uh, yesterday at work, I made a list anyway, 
Um, I've got 17 things to FFO at the moment and I think I have materials for probably 12 of them. So or that I think two of them I thought I've got to go and buy a couple of things but they are I need another box of pins for pinning and um, a small frame that I've seen that I know about but hadn't put two and two together so I just need to go and buy that which I can do tomorrow um, or next week you know it, easy things to get hold of it's not like I'm looking for something special to finish with I know what I want so other than grabbing those two things I think I have everything and hopefully can um, I'd love to be able to get those uh, 12 done I think is doable um, one requires my sewing machine which it did last year as well um, but now I've found the pedal I can get my machine off for a service when the shop reopens they've just moved they're moving currently moving so I'm hoping um, I can get the sewing machine off this autumn to be at service because it really does need it. it hasn't been used in three years so um, and I don't feel that I'm I don't know enough about them to service it myself so I'd rather let the professionals do it um, so one needs a frame that's quite expensive I can buy um, off the shelf frame but it's quite expensive so the one I've seen I like that will work with it so yeah and um which leads to what three other things I'm, I have no idea why I don't know if I can FFO them or not I haven't got the list so um in front of me and I'm not getting up to go and get it again so um yeah we'll see what we can do I'm gonna do I might vlog that should we vlog it yeah let's vlog that um yeah, I think I'll probably try and do a vlog for that um, in two weeks, so look out for that. There'll be, no, not this weekend, next weekend. So, yeah, we'll, we might get, or we'll try and vlog that if I can. Um, whether 12 things is doable at a weekend is another matter, but we'll, we'll go for it. So, plans. Okay. Um, see, I've already said the cityscape. I've told you about my FFO weekend. I really have got notes today. Um, I told you my plans for where there are bees. I'm going to carry on doing stitching time as my travel piece because it's quite blocky and easy and not many colour changes to do. Um, my commute is about 12 minutes each way and then I sit at the school for about 10 and sometimes come home. So generally I do 10 minutes in the morning. 10 minutes on the way up to the school sometimes five minutes at school if I can depending on whether I'm talking um and then I'll do 10 10 maybe 10 minutes at home so which is usually either doing a little tricky bit or um setting myself up ready for the next day uh so it's quite a nice little system I have um and stitching time just works perfectly for uh that one plus it's on 28 count which makes life easy um although I was doing 35 count on the last one that's 25, 28 count. Whatever. Um, okay, so plans. Plans, plans, plans. Um, it's pumpkin spice week in daily 30. So I am going to start this Lizzie Kate freebie. I printed it out last year and not gotten around to it. Absolutely, this is lovely. I, I do actually have quite a lot of fall stuff. We are still in summer. Um, fall is going to happen next weekend. Lottie and I decided we will do it next weekend um, because Strictly Come Dancing starts next weekend. Therefore, we will be in a fall heading towards Christmas. So it's all next weekend because it's, it's still glorious weather here. It's beautiful. Um, so those are just a few of the weeks I quickly picked out this morning. They're not all. A couple of them are called for. And actually, one of the ones in my week's die works from um, Kate came yesterday and it's one of the call for which is perfect because it's the pumpkin let's just pop that bit of floss in there um so if i do that then i can kate's changed the bag and i butchered it trying to get it open um not this the actual packaging it was in so i have my lakeside needle crafts uh, floss of the month club and I, I obviously this is not intentional at all these are just um the i'm on this i'm on the seas but i mean look at that autumn palette i just think that's absolutely glorious so um i've got cinnabar clockwork which is the call for for the pumpkin so let's just pop up the pumpkin now cinnamon which is lovely Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, which actually I'm just wondering what it'll be doing for the darker ones. That works quite 
possibly. Uh, clamshell, really, really pretty pastel -y one. Clara, purple and orange. Oh, purple and gold, I would say, actually. And then citronella and citron. Citronella is the brighter one. So really nice colours. Add those to my floss. I've ordered Diana rings. You know, the little wire rings because... Oh, week's bag. I'm trying to work out how best to store my weeks. And I had it in a box, which wasn't working. <coughs> Excuse me. Put it on this, which is fantastic, but it's a pain to find. So I am going to... Um, I've ordered a pack of 20 of them and my plan is to um, alphabetise on the rings, possibly. Um, I did see that the works, which is kind of discount re book retailer generally, they do quite a lot of little craft things as well. Um, I pick bits and pieces up from there all the time. Um, they had a pack of wooden letters, like little tags that are wooden letters and I thought that would be ideal and then I could just add a tag to each one and then um, I'd know what they were. But these are fantastic. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased that I joined the Weeks Club. It's just made, I love being able to pull through, having that sort of the gentle variation. I mean, some of them are mad variation as well, but I love kind of that I could pull like those for the pumpkin thing. I know some of them aren't the call for, but it's. I just love that thing that I can just have that subtle variation that I love in things. So let's pitch that back to the sofa. Um, so obviously, and with Lakeside, I had a couple of bags of tapestry needles because you just need them. Um, still made locally to me too. Just thought I'd say. Um, locally, well, within about thirty miles, so it's not bad going. Oh, maple syrup run away so when we we're on holiday we when we were at Whitby Abbey um, we were looking in the gift shop as you do because I love a good gift shop me um, for souvenirs we buy we love fridge magnets we have um, we, we try and get a fridge magnet most places we go because um, that's what we do um, so I think we bought three this time um, anyway we were looking around um, Whitby Abbey and Hubby picks this up, little terracotta tile, and goes, that would make a great needle minder. So we bought it. So just a little terracotta tile. It's quite light. So even Hubby knows what makes, uh, knows about his needle minder. And I also found this little wooden badge of Whitby Abbey. And um, so my plan is because it's all the badge back is just held on with a sort of a sticky pad is to just carefully remove that and then that'll be a nice needle minder too. Um, uh, my fabric from Chromatic Alchemy came in. This one is I think this came up the day we went on holiday and that's why I have I haven't even taken that bag yet. So I apologise for the crinkling. Chromatic Alchemy used the um, compostable bags so they are very crunchy crinkly so this is Patriot and it is 32 count Belfast I should have learned that because that's what I always have and that's not showing up at all true it's definitely lighter let's see if we can get it to better so that is actually quite it isn't really as bright as that um, and it's definitely got a slightly more green undertone to it. Uh, yeah. I'm starting to get quite a lot of crazy mad ones from Chromatic Alchemy. So I am definitely thinking of changing to sparklies uh, because I can pick my fabrics. Because I um, don't need a dozen crazy, crazy mad sparkly ones that sit in the box. This month's one that's coming when it arrives is not crazy mad so it's that thing where you go I'm going to cancel if next week it is terrible I'm going to cancel or next month and you go oh that's actually a really quite a nice one right same rule applies the next month and then you don't so um there you go so we have cross stitch crazy and cross stitcher so mega su super quick flick throughs of these because I know time is a ticking um cross stitch crazy issue number 
260. I don't know why I've written 259 down then. 260. Let's change that. Um, for long Christmas, we have got. There's the contents page. Okay, let's fly through this then. So, uh, I showed you the. What's the. The hoop is quite cute, Santa. We've got. I've got floss too, but she knows I know that much. Margaret Sherry Cats. My magazine came useful there. Uh, um, cats in stockings. Um, uh, and then an article to celebrating Margaret Sherry. Uh, letters. Uh, Joanna Lumley is the celeb stitch. I'm just going to lean it on the table. I like some of these actually. Bright um, Christmas littles. Some really nice little things there. Uh, they are Doreen Jones ones. And there are some really nice ones in here that I could see me stitching. Um, Remembrance Day cards. Celebrations are the quick stitches. We've got winter woolly hats. There's seven of those. These are really nice. These are, um, I don't know, say Shirley then. Cheryl McKinnon, tiny, uh, tiny modernist. So it's a really nice uh, set of four trees there. It's nice to have all four trees in one magazine. So often I think they spread them out and you miss a magazine or yeah so I think that's really nice that they're all in one they're quite cute. and then we've got quick stitch birthday treats they're just the charts um, advent tags which are those and they've also it's obviously a full alphabet too um, of which I can't show you any but you get the idea of the um, Just because the magazine's been. That's a computer generated one. So they're really nice actually. They would be really nice to make like um, a monogram tag or something, a reusable one for your Christmas presents. I have these great ideas, would I? Probably not. Oh, they got loads of giveaways. Anything I want. Oh, tiny modernist digital voucher, that would be worth doing. Anyway, I'll have to look at those. Pocket pals, these are cute. Oh, was it? I thought they were celebrating. It's a lot of celebration. Maybe perhaps I'm. Something, was it 20 years or something like that they've been going on? There was a reason. 20th anniversary, that's what I knew I thought it was. Um, Christmas cushion designed by Emma Congdon. Challenge Lucy's various bits and pieces. Um, plastic canvas sleighs by Fiona Baker. Next month is this lot. Um, anything I'm particular. I like the wooden baubles. That's the free gift. So you will see. So that's Cross Stitch Crazy issue 260. Oh, pop that down there. And then we've got Cross Stitcher. Uh, so I'm going to say it's a very good issue. This is their cover kit. It's a twin pack cover kit. Oh, hair in my eye. Sorry. Put one piece of hair, sort of, you know. Oh. There we go. So, yeah, uh, I love this little reindeer brooch. That's going to be super cute to do. Uh, that's on plastic canvas, and that's that some of that there. And then they also have a Christmas stitch along, 
which they are giving in um, just a little mini one with the joy and I think that's lovely so I will be doing that too because I'm a sucker for Christmas so let's crack on and see so there's the deer brooch I think that's really sweet the little beads you can soon change isn't it put a little button and make it um, Rudolph so this is what their three part stitch along is going to be so they're doing one this issue next issue and the issue after that so I think that's definitely another one for us because well it's very me I might let's have a look at the width so that's the width I'm sure I've got Ada band which will make life finishing just that mm, just sorry, looking at Ada band make finishing just that little bit easier so I think I'll swap to that um yeah so contents Um. Oh, there we go. So the flower of the month is marigold. Then there's this um, Halloween sampler. It's got that very, well, I'm going to say it's almost a traditional verse now of when black cats prowl and pumpkins gleam may look for yours on Halloween. So, yeah, I think that's actually, would I stitch it? No, because I don't do Halloween, but it's really cool. Um, bring the sunshine, embracing the drum finish. So, I kind of... This issue kind of really made me feel that this was kind of a very international issue. Lots of designs um, similar to, or styles similar to, some of the um, more American designers that I love. So, screw away, you have to do turkey stitch with the tail. I think it's turkey stitch, or turkey work, whatever it's called. Yeah. Right, savvy stitcher some autumn buttons and leaf brooch and things that's quite cool yes yeah, just some nice autumnal leaves tv test card is that a british thing or is, does everybody know what the tv test card is from back in the day Woodland Alphabet, which is really, really sweet actually. Foot and numbers too. And then we've got 3D House. Oh, that's uh, Sharon McKinnon again. So, and it's only done in seven colours, which is pretty cool. And not a lot of backstitch. So there's four panels and then the roof is felt by the looks of it. Yeah, front, back, and two sides. Tempting. That is quite cool. I like I do like 3D stitches. We've got night and day hoops. Forest Friend hoops. That's about the fourth hoop finish I've seen in this magazine. But it's just a cost effective way of doing things, isn't it? This is cool because I actually have bought these little thread keeps, so designs for them. I do like the little bee. I think I'll probably do that one. Or possibly the flower. Probably the bee. Um, Delia's Deli. 
part one of a classic street stitch along and I do think yeah so they've got a sketch of what the shops will be so that's really quite nice yeah so there we go uh, the stitch along I'm really glad that cross stitch will embrace the stitch along so um, I think the sense of community is one of the best things about cross stitch and I'm glad I don't do it on my own anymore that this is next month um, that's so that's part two of the stitch along that's the other free gift that's really cool I would imagine I will get that done <laughs> famous last word and an angel so there we go so that's cross stitcher issue two a three fit cross stitcher issue 300 really i can't numbers three four nine you watch hubby's gonna edit that bit now and you're gonna have three four nine going across the screen like that or something because of um my inability to speak um i'm just quickly look oh, buried my notes okay Right, as it is my floss anniversary, celebrate, I feel like I should have party poppers and um, one of those trumpety things, um, we ought to have a giveaway. Um, oh, chart book from a couple of videos ago, Mel, I'll pop it in the post too because you're the only one that wanted it, so there you go. Um, right, floss anniversary, two years, celebrating, woo, -hoo -hoo, giveaway. Um, because I've just done the collaboration, um, Frosted collaboration and I did sparkless fabric. I thought um, I would, um, the prize will be a piece of, um, I didn't write down the size either. Fat quarter? No. Anyway, um, I will, uh, the winner will get a piece of fabric from sparklers of their choice. Um, to the, my size specifications and I'll work out what that is. Um, because I can't check now because my phone's there. Um, anyway, so um, that's what the, the prize will be. But what I will do is I will order it. Um, I'll order it and get Kate to send it to me. And then I will send it on to you with a few other Kerry things. And um, just a few little uh, other bits chucked in too. Um, but uh, Kate carries everything from 14 count Ada right through to 40 count linen. So it really will be a piece of... Um, fabric of your choice, your colourway. Um, obviously it's going to be dyed to order so it probably will take a month to six weeks. But I thought that was going to be, that would be a nice prize. Um, I could order a piece and it, send it to you but you think, well you might, you know, if I chose a pink you might think, oh pink. If I chose a green you might think, I'll never stitch on green. So piece of your choice, um, maybe it'll kit up a project that you really want to do or, or start to kit up a project that you really want to do. Um, Kate's fabrics are beautiful so um, that's the prize, uh, along with a Kerry goodie bag of some description. Um, I've got a post-it note written down with bits and pieces on it somewhere. So um, it's open to anyone internationally. Um, please be over 18. Do not mention giveaway. Uh, be a subscriber. Uh, like the video. Do all those kind of things. Um, and you're going to have to ask a question. And I, I thought, I'm going to make it a really tough, challenging question. So we thought, well, we could say, name one of the bands that I've used as a song title. Um, we did think of that one. So we thought maybe. But let's talk of prices, fabric. Tell me what your favourite fabric count is. Or your go-to fabric. Is there a piece of fabric that you always go to to start with before you think about... Um, my leaf work now alarm went off. Um, so that cut the video. So, yeah, is, do you have a go-to fabric? Do I have a go-to fabric? I tend to pick 32 count, or is that, although I'm loving 35 count and I can see me moving to that pretty much as I work through my stash. Um, I definitely love linen. Yeah, linen's probably my favorite thing. Um, Color-wise, green. But that's a kind of a thing for me start with the greens and then we'll work away but I love naturals too so um the Lizzie Kate will be done on Raw Belfast um 
no. What's for? Edinburgh. There we go. Raw Edinburgh linen. So, um, so I I love neutrals too. Do I have a photo? Star Sapphire. I've stitched two or three things on that. Uh, Main Street's on it. Um, I did a birth sampler on it. Um, so that's probably quite a good go-to one for me. Um, as for a hand dyed, don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so tell me what um, your go-to fabric is. Uh, all the rules that I said before my video cut out, um, and uh, I will draw a winner. Not next video. Video after. So probably the first one in October. I'd look at the calendar, but that's on the phone. Um, yeah, so what are we, 13th of May? So 21st. So I'm counting backwards now. 13, 20, 27. Ah, oh, it's going to be about a month. Not next video, the one after that. So that'll be 55. The winner will be drawn in video 55. So if video 55, if you happen to have seen video 55 and you're working your way backwards, I'm sorry you've missed out. Um, so it's, um, I'm going to leave it here and, um, sorry, looking down because I thought I saw the hamster. I am literally sat next to the hamster cage. Uh, I'm surprised she's not been out and had a nose. Anyway, random. Uh, have a great stitchy fortnight. Um, be nice to each other. There's been some pretty mean people commenting recently I've seen. I watched two videos yesterday where people had said, Oh, so sorry, so, something on Instagram and somebody else had a video to watch to where people had, instead of just going away quietly, had to thought they had to make a comment of saying how much they disliked the person in their videos. So it's unnecessary. Don't. Um, if you don't like my videos, just don't watch them anymore. You know, if I say something to upset you, which I fully intend not to do, just don't watch them anymore. Don't make a big song and a dance about it. Um, yeah so um and do the same for others it's not be nice we're supposed to be a really lovely caring community and for the most part we are and um there are videos that i thought no this isn't for me and so i just don't watch them i just don't watch that person um because there is so much floss you about there that you're going to find a video that you really really like um or a person that you just can't you know, there's, that, there's going to be that person that the minute that video drops, you make the time to watch it. And I've got one or two that I do that too now. Um, Link is my homeboy. Record a video and I will drop everything to watch that video. If it's four o'clock in the morning, I'll be none the wiser because I'll be asleep. But I will get up and I will watch your video. We miss you, Heather. So um, I'm going to publicly put that out there. I've watched nobody new. Oh, I have watched loads of new people, actually. And they've all been... Um, I'm going to link my f f f f oh, words today, words. Um, I had coffee with a friend earlier. I couldn't get my words out. Um, the name of it is dysphasia. I have dysphasia. Um, oh, now my train of thought's gone. It really has gone. I will link my floss tube fabric collaboration video below because um, that contains links to anybody new I've, who I've watched this week. Helen D. Is the only person whose name I can think of off the top of my head. I'm sorry. There are there are there are three or four other people who I hadn't watched before. Um who I've watched Oh Sammy J, I've never watched Sammy J. Um and I've not watched two or three of your videos. So um not that you watch me, I don't think. But yeah, um the Floss Tube collaboration was awesome, so thank you, Cheryl, for letting me be involved in that. I loved that. Um and I would be more than happy to do another one. Um it's they're just really interesting just to see everybody's different takes on things. So um, if you haven't had a chance to watch those videos, go through and watch them. Um, actually, I actually think mine get nearly, oh, what's mine, about 15 minutes. It's a fairly average time. There are some that are just 5, 10 minutes long, others that are 25 minutes long. Just go and watch them. Um, go and watch them. They're really interesting to see what different people, some people are focused on a particular type of fabric, such as um, a 32 count linen, for example. Other people are focused on a particular dyer. Coffee Stitcher, Garrett did, Ship's Manor, obviously I did Sparklers, um, somebody did 
sort of focused on Lugano. Michelle Bendy was alternative sources for Ada. So, um, and what fantastic things that can be stitched on Ada and that kind of thing. So, um, there was somebody else who was an Ada stitcher too, and I can't remember who they were. Helen D? Ada stitcher? Is that right? I don't know. Um, so it was great to see a full um, wide range of fabrics being showcased and dyers and um, yeah really interesting as were the fibres so just go and check out those videos if you've got um, a spare few minutes. Um, I think that's pretty much all from me. Um, so tell me what your favourite fabric is and um, Leave me a comment. Uh, I loved getting all the comments and things. It just really does make it um, more than me just sat in front talking to myself. So have a great stitchy fortnight, friends, and I will be back in a couple of weeks with my next update. Happy stitching. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching my channel thank you for all the lovely comments you leave me for the likes and the subscriptions they really it really does mean a lot and it makes it all worthwhile happy stitching